What is up guys? This is Dom D and today I have another video for you guys and uh, today's video um, is a Simplifying Radicals program. Um, works real well and um, I'm actually pretty proud of it. Uh, I'm going to be probably doing a video. Uh, a couple of you asked me to kind of go through how I come about making my programs or like um, how, yeah, basically how I make my program. So I think I'm going to do that video on this particular program because I'm actually kind of proud of it. It's actually pretty impressive. So uh, stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty simple program. Um, so we're going to go ahead and run it here. It says input the number under the radical. For um, example purposes, I have one worked out over here. So let's say that you were given the square root of 972. Um, so 972 divided by 9 is 108. And because 9 is a perfect square, you, pull, you would pull a 3 out of that. And then 108 divided by 9 is 12. So 9 again, you pull a 3 out. And then 12 divided by 4, which is another perfect square, is 3. So you pull a 2 out. So then 3 times 3 is 9 times 2 is 18, so 18 square roots of 3 should be the answer. So uh, it says input the number under the radical, so the number under the radical is 972. So we just type that in and then hit enter, and it calculated that to be 18 square roots of 3. So uh, as you can see, it works for simple, simpler ones like that, which aren't that big, or so you just hit enter again, and it'll say you want to simplify another. So we're going to say yes, and uh, it'll do rather big ones as well. For example, let's just do 2, 9, uh, 1, 6, 0. That's a fairly large number. I don't think you're going to be getting any really that big. So let's go ahead and hit enter. All right, so you can see that up there was uh, um, just going through the code. Uh, so we can see that that is 54 square root of 10. Um, and that's basically how the program works. So we hit enter. Do we want to do another one? No. Okay. So uh, let's get started. So first you want to go to hit program, scroll over to new. Because I already have one under simplifying rads, I'm just going to name it nope. But you should probably name it simplifying rads or whatever uh, you are going to remember. So hit enter and then here's where the code starts so you're going to want to go program um, scroll down until you find label and then hit three then enter all right uh, most of you by now have program clear and unclear but you're going to need them so there's a link in the description to another one of my videos where you have to make a program then come back and get this one um, once you do that, you'll be good. So for those of you who, d who do have it, or now that you've made it, you go over to EXEC, scroll down until you find clear, and then uh, hit enter. Then hit enter again. Program, right, display, second, alpha, uh, plus, input, the... Number and then uh, close that off with the plus sign is the um, quotations, so you just have to put those at the beginning and the end of anything when you want it to display text. So that's why those are there. Then hit enter, and then program go over to display again. And then plus under space the plus again, hit enter, then program right, and then this time input second alpha, and then radical. All right, so then hit. Um, the decimal point, which will bring up the colon and then a space, and then hit the plus sign again, and it'll give you that 
in quotations, then uh, comma x and hit enter. And then you're going to want to go hit math, scroll over once, and go down to i part, and then square root, so second x squared of x, and then plus 1, in parentheses, store as a, and hit enter, then program down again until you find label 1, and then this time you're going to go program if math right f part instead of i part uh, x over a squared is equal to zero program then program go to two else um, a minus one store as a program go to one and then we're going to set another label here label two and then program clear again so program right down until you find clear hit enter and then second program up and you'll come to text and then you want one comma one comma uh, alpha plus um, second x squared or sorry you want a comma alpha plus x squared or second x squared and then alpha plus again comma x over a squared comma alpha plus parenthesis alpha plus parenthesis and then hit enter and then program pause just there and then program scroll down until you find menu there it is second alpha plus and then this time you want to hit find space another plus alpha comma second alpha plus yes y e s comma three comma no comma four close that off with the parentheses hit enter and then program label four and then program stop all right so that's it I'm going to run it with you just to make sure I've done everything correctly, although I'm pretty sure I have. So we named, or I named that one, uh, nope. All right, so let's go ahead and run that. Input the number under the radical, looking good so far. So 972, since that was our example. Hit enter, 18 square roots of 3. Looks like it's working great. All right, so if we want to find another... Uh, so let's say it's 9. Obviously, you should probably know the square root of 9, but if you don't, it'll come up 3 square roots of 1, and the square root of 1 is 1, so 3 times 1 is 3. So that's what you should get. And uh, if it's a prime number, for example, 5, it'll just come up 1 square root of 5 because there is nothing you can take out. It's already in the simplified form. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I think hopefully soon I'll be coming out uh, with a tic-tac-toe program. So leave a comment if you're excited for that or if you have any questions or whatever, and uh, I'll see you next time.